Well, hi everyone. This is Medium Jane Hamilton Parker. Today I'm going to do a talk, What Gender Are You? I'm a spiritual gender. Are you a, a male gender, a female gender, or do you feel you want to change your gender? This is a very strange world we're living in at the moment, isn't it? Soon we'll be um, walking around holding hands with robots. Now, <clears throat> What is happening to the world? Why is the world at the moment going through a transition state of it's wrong to be this particular person, it's right to be that particular person, it's right to be white, it's wrong to be black. It's a very mixed up society. Years ago, if you decided that you wanted to be a transvestite, you were put into a psychiatric hospital, or if you decided that things weren't right, you know, it's very, very difficult in this 21st century. It's like all these teachings in schools at the moment, identity crisis. And I feel it's mixing children up because <clears throat> my husband, who's quite eccentric, said he was a dolphin gender. Well, perhaps he is. Who knows? But, you know, we're going through very strange times at the moment in the 21st century. The world's gone crazy is greed, materialism, people aren't happy, people are dissatisfied. Even in politics, they're not happy. They all are wanting the top job, so to speak. And then I thought, well, even the Queen has problems with her children, the young, uh, well, some of them, shall we say. So it's not just an ordinary person, it's people from all walks of life that go through all these different problems. The schools are teaching different things now. What is really going to happen in the future? Are we going to suddenly be um, implanted in, in robots, so-called mechanical brains, that what we choose to be, what we're meant to be, because the world's changing so quickly. Um, and as I said before in previous videos, there will be a food shortage of food going around because certain suppliers are going to cut things off and you know really in this world it should bring happiness love and joy and everybody should be kind compassionate and getting back to changes in the human body if somebody was born hermaphrodite and they found that that person had ovaries or whatever then that's okay to make a choice. Can we really choose what sex we should be when we're seven years old of age? What is happening? What is happening to all these things? I would call all these things changing your sex from a girl to a boy, then changing it back from a boy to a girl. It's like mutilization. I'd call it mutilization. And it's a very, very crazy world. What's your thoughts on it? I'm not against somebody that's gay or a lesbian. That's not what I'm saying. Or somebody wants to dress up as a transvestite. Um, it's their own choice. But I do think it's wrong to encourage young children, seven years old, that haven't really fully developed, to make that choice. I just hope and pray and spiritually guidance from higher realms can get into the parents head that this isn't right it isn't right so can, what will happen in the future do we change a cow into a horse do we change a horse into a cow it seems so crazy it's like playing about with nature and i'm sure this isn't meant to be so like this because it's good we can choose who we are as human beings with good values, good intentions, but it's wrong to put in very young children's heads, yes, you're a boy, but you can dress up as a girl. What must it do to them? It must mix them up. I'd love to hear your thoughts. And by the way, I have met some very interesting people in my life. I was watching a programme, um, what was her name? Was it Ashley, April Ashley, that was born a boy, but felt very much wanted to be a woman. 
and um, had the first, I think in 1963, had the first sex change and the full sexual change and looked very feminine. But that was quite a radical thing to do and it was absolutely cruel. What did they do? They put her in a psychiatric hospital where she had electric shock um, and her mental state must have been really horrendous going all through. But she still persevered. It was very, very sad when you actually watch that documentary. Very sad indeed. Um, and that, you know, and perhaps in the future to come, you know, who knows that there might be some mad scientist out there that wants to create a bit like, um, or what was it? Uh, there was an island where they had all these creatures and humans they practice on and made them horrific and that was at Monroe Island or something like that um, you know and it does worry me if they're having all these changes and operations what it really does do to a person I mean sometimes you see people cover in head to foot with um, tattoos I'm not against tattoos some of them quite beautiful and then they have all this body modification turning into I saw one that wanted to be an alien all his eyes were inked and uh, he had his tongue split um, and then he had some fingers chopped off uh, and grew long some long nails and other body parts to be split and what is behind that person's psychology I want to say he's not an alien he's a human being He's been born a male. If he was an alien, he wouldn't be living here on the earth. You know, what does get into people's minds? It's very worrying, I feel. But if you go on a good spiritual pathway, it doesn't matter what religion you are. There's only one religion of love, kindness, understanding, and to be a good human being while we're here. It's not about changing your identity to the extreme that people are frightened of you. It's not about every man for himself and greed and be ruthless and tread on the person. At the moment, we've got all these politicians fighting to be the next prime minister. Horrendous. The ordinary people cannot vote and decide. So they all want the top job, don't they? And... Um, Anyway, I'd love to hear your views and I'm sorry this one's so short because I really have got to go out now. Um, I'm going out for dinner at Lord Butte's and um, listening to Robbie Williams and hopefully you can relax. And I'll let you know if I see a few people sat at the table that have had sex change. OK, it won't put me off my dinner though. Ciao.